Well, breaking this morning, thousands of King Supers employees across the metro have walked off the job. This is a live look from our crews at several of the King Supers locations across Denver, Broomfield and Parker. And you can see there are more picketers in some stores than at others. Uh, the union says the workers want better pay, better health care options and more resources for on the job safety. Yeah, yesterday, the union rejected what King Supers called its last best and final offer. We know many of you are wondering how this will affect your store. So this morning we're taking a 360 in-depth look at options for shoppers. What's next in the negotiations? King Supers dominance in Colorado. Also the last time we had a grocery store strike and we also have reaction from you, our viewers, about whether or not you will cross those picket lines to do your shopping. First, a reminder that this isn't happening at all King Super stores. King Supers has 115 locations in Colorado. The strike is authorized at 77 union stores across the metro, and those are mapped out on the DenverChannel.com right now if you want to zoom into your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Denver 7's Veronica Acosta starts our team coverage, though, live at one of the larger picket lines we've seen this morning at Sheridan and Highway 285. Veronica. Yeah, and the big question for a lot of folks who are watching this morning for you all is, am I going to be able to go to my neighborhood King Supers and pick up that box of cereal or that milk? The answer, at least at this King Supers on Sheridan and Highway 285, is yes. But take a look at this here behind me. You're going to have to go through that picket line first. This group of employees on strike this morning, and this isn't the only group on strike today. A total of about 8,400 workers at King Superstores. This is across the front range. You're all doing the same thing. This is happening because after lots of back and forth between United Food and Commercial Workers Local 7, that's the union representing these workers, and King Supers, the two couldn't come to an agreement on multiple things. UFCW Local 7 says its employees want better wages, health care, and they want to feel safer at work. Just yesterday, King Supers said it put its quote last best and final offer on the table. That included $170 million invested in worker wage increases and bonuses. But the union said in many ways the offer was worse than previous ones. Union President Kim Cordova, she's among those picketing here at this location this morning. She says she wants King Supers to do what's best by their employees. Well, it's the bravest thing for workers to stand up and fight for what's fair. And so it's not an easy thing for workers to walk, work uh, to walk off the job. But when you vote by 98 to 100 percent, the company should know they should listen to the workers that they're upset about the treatment, the unfair labor uh, practices, their behavior through the whole negotiation process and the fact that they don't respect it, their essential workers. They don't protect them. And to keep disruption as minimal as possible, King Super says it has contingencies in place. Part of that was trying to hire contemporary workers before the strike started. They were getting paid about $18 an hour and overnight King Supers did email some of their customers, just letting them know that they were reducing those delivery fees for orders over $35 an hour. If you're someone who tends to pick up your groceries, just know that there might be some alternative sites for that this morning as well. This strike could last up to three weeks. We're in Denver this morning. I'm Veronica Acosta, Denver 7. And we'll see how it changes the longer it drags on as we take a closer look at the impact the strike could have on King Super's bottom line and on you as a shopper. To give you more perspective, according to a report from Chain Store Guide, King Super's dominated the Denver market share uh, back in 2020. That was the last year data was available. This is a look at the top five places where people shop for groceries here, and you can see most, uh, almost double the nearest competitor, go to King Supers. Just a reminder, it's not affecting city market stores. They do have an existing contract. The last strike by grocery workers in Colorado was back in 1996. Union members at King Supers walked off the job and Safeway and Albertsons eventually locked out union members. That strike lasted 42 days. So we have continuing coverage of the King Super strike. In our next half hour, we'll have a look at the picket lines once again and what the union is doing for the workers who are on strike.